Hello, I'm Alex Fencham from Habibi Film Rentals. We recently received a unique and exciting set of lenses that I'd love to share with you today and do a bit of a review. These are the Soviet rehoused lens set from Iron Glass Adapters. Iron Glass Adapters is a company based in the Ukraine that has been modifying vintage Soviet lenses with modern housings to give them new life. They let you customize your set in a few different ways. They offer normal rehousing, but you can also choose to anamorph fake your set with faked anamorphic bokeh. You can also choose to have the barrel modded to flare purple or amber. The set we have here is their three lens set consisting of the MIR 1B 37mm f2.8, Helios 44-258mm f2, and the Jupiter-9 85mm f2. We chose to have this set modded with the anamorph fake bokeh and amber flare and got them in PL mount with custom PLTF adapter as well. We were really curious about these lenses as soon as we saw them. The price point is frankly very good, and we didn't really know what to expect. I've been playing with these lenses for just over a week now, and I have to say that I've been completely blown away with them. The most obvious first impression I had of these lenses when I opened the box is the incredible build quality of the rehousing. The housings are amazingly well machined and feel solid and modern. The most obvious difference compared to a modern cinema lens is of course that the iris control is at the front of the lens while the focus ring is towards the middle. The tracking on the focus is smooth and has the perfect amount of resistance and the focus throw is quite manageable. The aperture is measured in f-stops rather than t-stops which is a slight drawback but I understand it at this price point. The lenses feel solid while mounted. The PL flange is a bit snug in some cameras but I'd rather have a snug PL than a loose one. The lens caps are beautifully manufactured, fit snugly and have foam inset on the inside to create a dust-free seal, which is a feature that I wish the more cinema lens front caps would have. The front diameter is a 95 millimeters, a very standard size for small cinema lenses. The lenses have really gorgeous laser engraved markings. So this is all great, but if the optics don't hold up, then it doesn't mean anything. So, how do they look? Well, I have to say that I have fallen in love with the look of these lenses. I was a bit skeptical of the anamorph fake thing at first. The anamorphic bokeh is created with an oval cutout set behind the rear element, and the horizontal flaring is created with a tiny vertical also set across the element. The bokeh has a subtle oval shape, and the flares are very dramatic. Of course, since there isn't any actual optical squeezing, you are missing the field of view, vertical distortion, and some of the optical quirks that make anamorphics so gorgeous. But these lenses definitely produce beautiful organic images that feel like anamorphic. I think this works so well because of the vintage glass. The lenses, particularly the 37mm, has gorgeous edge falloff, and the focus falloff throughout all the lenses is soft and natural. All the footage you are seeing was shot on the new Canon C500 Mark II in Canon RAW at full frame 5.9K. And yes, these lenses do cover full frame. Another nice surprise was how sharp these lenses are at the center. I wasn't expecting the vintage glass to resolve this sharply, but they are definitely pin sharp on a modern 5.9K full frame sensor. So let's talk flares. We decided to go pretty extreme when ordering our set, selecting the amber flares. You can see when looking through the body of the lens, the amber coating on the housing. When I initially saw it, I was a bit worried that it would be hard to get a clean image out of these lenses. When shooting wide open on all of the lenses, the image definitely does shift a bit warm, but I found that closing down, sometimes even half a stop, cleaned up the colors. The flares produced by these lenses are spectacular. They're very dramatic and bold, and personally I love the amber color. It's not something you see very often, so it creates a very unique look. Another thing I was a bit worried about was color matching across the set. The set is a hodgepodge of Soviet lenses, and obviously they weren't manufactured to be color matched with each other. 
I have to say that the color across the set is pretty consistent. They match well and can be definitely used as a set. Overall, I've been very impressed with these lenses, particularly for their price point. I think they give you an absolutely unique look that you'd be hard pressed to find in another set of cinema glass. They'd be perfect for use on short films, music videos, commercials that dictate a unique dreamy look, or a narrative work for a subjective sequence that you want to give a distinct look and feel. If your interest has been piqued, I encourage you to check out an iron glass adapters. They do great work, and are expanding their lineup of rehoused Soviet lenses constantly. We will definitely be ordering more to add to our set. Of course, if you'd like to test these lenses or try them out in our shop and you are in the greater Toronto area, please reach out to us here at Habibi Film Rentals. We'd be more than happy to set up a demo for you and of course you can rent this set if you'd like. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out or comment below. For a full list of technical specs for the footage shown in this review, including the process used for grading, please check out this video's description. That's all for now. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you so much for watching.